Ukrainian portable electronic warfare systems hunt Russian drones. The rise of FPV drones on the front lines has revolutionized electronic warfare tactics, making the jamming of the drone operator connection a crucial aspect of survival in modern combat. A key development is portable, personalized electronic warfare systems that troops can carry in vehicles or backpacks. According to Euromaidan, press media outlet, Ukraine and Russia are engaged in a race to manufacture advanced electronic warfare capabilities while seeking vulnerabilities in each other's systems, driving rapid innovation. Kvetos, a major Ukrainian electronic warfare manufacturer, reported supplying dozens of systems monthly in 2022, hundreds in 2023 and expects thousands in 2024, highlighting the exponential growth in demand. FPV drones are vulnerable because operators must manually guide them, relying on a radio frequency link that can be jammed. Electronic warfare aims to infiltrate and overpower these frequencies with powerful signals, forcing the drones to crash by losing control. According to Europiska Pravda, this technological cat and mouse drives both sides to transition faster to new frequencies, improve drone detection, widely field jamming tech and train forces on it. Unique countermeasures have emerged like Russia's 10 km wired drone impervious to jamming and machine vision drones that can strike targets autonomously after losing the control link. To get ahead, Ukraine must develop a full suite of versatile, user-friendly and technologically advanced electronic warfare capabilities across the battlefield. Crucially, it needs to achieve mass production and drive down costs to supply the front lines with tens of thousands of these systems. To catalyze military technology development, especially electronic warfare capabilities against Russian drones, Ukraine established the Brave One state program. Around 50 companies are currently developing counter-drone systems through Brave One, from man-portable and anti-drone rifles to larger area protection domes, said Ole Donets, the program's electronic warfare lead. Gvertus Innovative Electronic Warfare Backpack System provides Ukrainian troops with a mobile counter-drone shield for just $7,000. Rather than individual use, the backpack protects entire small units of 8 to 10 soldiers on the move. One operator activates the system's protective dome spanning several hundred meters upon detecting an enemy drone. The rechargeable battery allows two hours of continuous electronic jamming. Ukrainian company Obri Miltek has fielded a simple but effective counter-drone system, the portable anti-FPV electronic warfare dome, at just $1,400 per unit. These affordable EW domes protect troops and vehicles within a 200-meter radius from Russian drone threats. Ukraine also produces large EW systems to counter enemy missiles, Shahed drones and reconnaissance UAVs. They can jam GPS signals or replace them with false ones, throwing the object off course. Kremlin is suffering record number of losses as Russian troops make intensive attacks on Ukraine's northeastern Kharkiv city. Russia has been losing more than 1,000 troops every 24 hours for the past two weeks during its attacks on Ukraine's second-largest city Kharkiv, according to armed forces of Ukraine official estimates. Death tolls for Kremlin soldiers this week may have been the bloodiest since the start of the war, according to estimates. Kiev military spokesman said that compiled totals of Russian loss estimates are accurate, and Russia's losses are registered only after obtaining compelling evidence such as drone footage. Moscow has claimed its forces have now taken control of two more settlements in the region, Lukyansky and Hlybok, and the village of Robotyne, in the southern Zaporizhia region. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky traveled to the city of Kharkiv on Thursday and said the situation in the northeast is under control after the military managed to partially halt a Russian advance. Last week, Russia announced opening a new front in four direction in northeastern Kharkiv region. The attack launched late last week was the most significant border incursion since the full-scale invasion began. In just two days, Moscow has captured from 100 to 125 square kilometers that include at least seven villages, most of them already depopulated, according to two open-source monitoring analysts.